is expected to be the big NASA SpaceX Crew 2 mission with four astronauts taking off from Cape Canaveral. Houston space reporter Roseanne Aragon joins us now live with the basics of this mission. Roseanne, what's so unique about this particular mission? Well, first of all, it was supposed to launch on Earth Day. Happy Earth Day! Got my leaf earrings right here. <laughs> but because of weather, it got moved to tomorrow weather conditions. It is now the second operational crewed mission. While this is the second, on this flight there are many firsts. I'll tell you about them. The Crew Dragon is expected to launch atop a Falcon 9 rocket tomorrow morning at 4.49 Central Time from American soil. Interestingly, you've actually seen these vehicles before. This will be SpaceX's first human flight with all reused vehicles. The four astronauts will be traveling inside the Crew Dragon Endeavor spacecraft. That's the same vehicle Demo 2 astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley took to certify the Crew Dragon for human spaceflight. The Falcon Falcon 9 booster, which goes under the Dragon, is also actually from the Crew-1 flight. It's all part of SpaceX's plan to keep costs low for sustainable spaceflight. In fact, NASA Crew-2 astronaut Megan MacArthur will be sitting in the exact same seat her husband, Bob Behnken, sat on in Endeavor. Perhaps she got some tips. Yeah, perhaps so. <laughs> and Roseanne, let's talk about the Crew 2 team here. Yes, yes, there will be four veteran astronauts on board the Crew Dragon. Commanding the mission is NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough, an Army veteran and West Point grad who flew on sh the shuttle Endeavor and has logged 189 hours in space. Then you have NASA astronaut and Dragon pilot Dr. Megan MacArthur, who we know is married to Bob Behnken, but she has logged 12 days in space and was a flight engineer for shuttle. Then you have JAXA astronaut Akihiko Hoshide, who will be the second Japanese astronaut to ever command the ISS. Finally, you have the first European astronaut to fly aboard Dragon, Isas Toma Peske. Very cool stuff. Another first for this mission. This is the first Crew Dragon mission where astronauts had a relatively short training time uh, to learn the vehicles while Demo 2 astronauts and Crew 1 had years of training. This crew had about a year to learn everything about the Crew Dragon. Well, we know they're very smart, so fast learners. <laughs> yes. uh, it, Roseanne, we know they're not going up there just to have fun. What exactly are they going to be doing on this mission? What's the purpose? Well, I mean, it is definitely fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can imagine this is the second of official operational flight. How fun is that? So now you've got one official flight under their belt and now they can focus on science. They'll take with them 440 pounds of science aboard the Crew Dragon. That's hundreds of experiments, guys, some of which they'll help to conduct. Also, some of the astronauts will also do spacewalks to install new solar arrays, which are basically really cool solar panels that will open up like a yoga mat. So there's that. And it's all to improve the International Space Station. Super exciting stuff. Hopefully the weather for the launch will be good. It was delayed because of weather conditions in the event that the crew would have an abort. It was those weather conditions that were not great. So hopefully tomorrow all of those weather conditions from launch and a potential abort should be good. Hopefully we get a go. And fingers not crossed. A no go. <laughs> yes, yes, fingers yeah. crossed. I really feel like we can sense your excitement, Roseanne. Well, we're all going to the Olympics, so let's just go to space <laughs> you know, together. If, if they're looking for a news crew, we can we can cover for sure. I yes. have faith in you, Keith, Christine. <laughs> oh, Come on. We love you, Roseanne. <laughs> Certainly going to be an exciting time again. Fingers crossed that this all goes off without a hitch tomorrow. Indeed.